hello hello my youtube friends i am back from my trip to mexico so i had to i know i don't look like i have been to mexico it was a work related trip so i was not outside as much as i would like to have been but i was there for work i am back so i'm sorry i did not post last week i know that you seriously miss me um so where am i I am here. I am about 14 weeks out from my show date. I still actually haven't picked a show, but I have the date. Um, June 13th is my goal date, and um, so we will just see what happens. So I will um, post some pictures for you. Honestly, like I do not see much change, but I never do. But uh, the scale has come down a few pounds. I believe I walked about six to eight miles. Um, about every day last week so that actually like was a little boost of extra activity so that was good so this week i want to talk about a question from one of my viewers and the question was do you do or what are my thoughts on um like macros if it fits your macros versus carb cycling okay so my answer to that is um, both so it is dependent on your goals like I always track macros regardless of if I am in a fat loss phase or if I am in a building phase so if you do not know what you are consuming you do not know where to go with it okay and I mean you do have to get down to the nitty-gritty like being precise because you can you can estimate like you can have a good idea of um you know ounces like basically um three to four ounces of meat is about the size of your palm um an ounce of fat is about the size of your thumb um a fistful is about i can't remember if it's a half a cup or a cup but um it's about a half a cup i think of say something like rice but anyway, you can estimate. However, if you only estimate and you do not measure, what is going to happen is you're going to be off. So if even if you're like 15 um, grams high on something, um, you know, calories still add up, right, in either direction. So again, whether you're um, looking for fat loss or um, muscle gain you still need to know what you're eating and I am one to think that it should be exact okay so um, if you are doing if it fits your macros and let's say you are on a fat loss plan then at some point you may want to toy with the idea of carb cycling what does that do it basically just gives your body a little bit of a different scenario um, changing things up can sort of push your body past little sticking points okay which is also the theory behind a cheat meal okay not a cheat day but if you are in a fat loss phase for an extended period of time your metabolism will tend to um, slow down and adapt over time so by having a cheat meal or by doing carb cycling something like that it gives you a boost so when you carb cycle generally you're only going to do maybe one to two days of higher carbs and your fat would probably be down slightly um, and your protein could be down just a little bit as well but your carbs are generally much higher like probably 50 to 100 grams or more depending on the person so i would do macros and then i would work in carb cycling as needed um so if you would like to ask me questions please comment below be sure you subscribe to my channel um, you can visit my website fitwithholly.com ask me questions about training if you want to find out about um, personalized training for yourself you can definitely let me know and I look forward to talking to you all next time have a great day